is Orla McCormack. I'm a consultant general surgeon at the Mater and today I was involved in the boot camp with the students. I was doing a pre-op assessment session with them. So I was taking them through how we clerk patients in, how we take a history, do an examination, go through all their medications and flag any things that might be important preoperatively and consent, which is really important um, in the preoperative setting. We had a real live patient here, Tom, who had um, a diagnosis and was very good. Students went through kind of what they'll be doing as interns um, and SHOs on the ward. And it was really just to stress the importance of the fact that when you're a surgeon you're not just operating, you're not just cutting at the table, you actually need to know everything about the patient beforehand and you need to look after the patient afterwards. So it's looking at the whole holistic approach to surgery. Hi, I'm Emma Carrington. I'm one of the colorectal lecturers at St Vincent's University Hospital and I'm part of the faculty of the surgical boot camp today. We've been teaching the students how to suture um, and um, they've been really enjoying it actually. They've been having a good time just learning to get to grips with the surgical instruments, learning to instrument tie and starting to feel a little bit more like surgeons which I think is pretty inspirational for them, helps them with their learning. Hello, my name is Professor James Jones and I'm representing anatomy uh, in University College Dublin. I'd like to describe an initiative that we've just commenced in collaboration with uh, the Department of Surgery at the Old Matter Hospital. So we've established two clinical anatomy theatres for the purpose of providing revision in key clinical anatomy. And typically we have a group of 10 students per theatre and focused anatomy lectures on common clinical conditions and how basic anatomy can help with diagnosis and treatment of disease. Uh, my name is Faraz, one of the clinical lecturers, and this is our last group here doing the surgical anatomy session on uh, boot camp. 120 students went through today, so this is the last group of 10. And this is actual cardiovascular surgical anatomy, they've done a laparotomy, have identified uh, colonic anatomy, identified the appendix, gallbladder, stomach, uh, lesser sac, portal triad, pancreas. Then we moved up to the chest, gone north of the diaphragm, we've gone over chest train incisions, done bilaterally. Hi, I'm Megan, I'm one of the vascular SHOs. Uh, so we were taking the students through a post-operative scenario here. Um, our lovely patient has had a bleed from their surgical wound. So you're talking through the steps of how you might resuscitate a patient and uh, how you'd manage them, bring them back into theatre. And the good thing about this is the, the resus, resus steps that we go through are applicable to any ward scenario that they might face as interns. So we're just giving them a framework to how to approach the patients. Hi, my name is Amy. Uh, my name is Angus and uh, we are taking part in the Matter Surgical Boot Camp today. Um, so I suppose the idea of Surgical Boot Camp is to uh, kind of get us ready for going into theatre and kind of just so that we can feel more comfortable on our surgical rotations um, and it's kind of a wide aspect I suppose of surgery so so we, we did like an anatomy session this morning uh, so we're refreshing our anatomy we've obviously done a lot of anatomy in UCD over the last two years but to kind of c revisit that in kind of a more practical sense is really beneficial yeah. and we also did some suturing yes we did some suturing which is something that we definitely didn't learn before today um, and it's also a skill that <laughs> requires a lot of practicing um, but it's definitely a nice way to break into the surgical rotation to know and kind of get an idea of what's expected of us mm. when we're going in yeah. for the next six weeks. Yeah and also we would have done we just did a kind of an emergency station so I suppose just the more practical aspects of it so moving from the preclinical years to here um, it's good to kind of finally get some hands-on kind of teaching and going into our surgical rotations now it's much easier to feel more comfortable and more confident going, yeah. going into theatre and stuff. Yeah, it's a good break-in period, so going forward, hopefully we won't be as scared. I guess. <laughs>